What's up, y'all? This your girl, Gold Mouth, coming at you guys to show you guys how I deal with my dry scalp problem. Well, I don't have a problem with dry scalp. My scalp just happened to be dry right now. So, because I don't, um, I haven't, I don't know. I don't know why it's dry, girl. It's the winter time and the weather be changing and it's cold outside. It does, that means winter, whatever. <laughs> so, um, in the winter time, your hair gets dry because the air is dry. The air dry is suck out all of the moisture out of your hair and everything else. So, um, my little scalp, it needs some attention. So, what I'm going to do for you guys is show you guys how I um, deal with my dry scalp problem. And I know I haven't talked about this product in a while, you guys. But yes, honey, please believe it's still on deck and it stay on deck, okay? Virgin hair fertilizer. Can y'all see? This is just, this is an old um, glaze edges container, you know. Uh, but I do, I did depot my virgin hair fertilizer. I melted it and I put it in here. Yes, I know they do say they make new ones, but I want them. I want the old ones and I want to melt them and put them in here myself, okay? So that way I know I got the same product. At least I feel like it in my head if it ain't, okay? So, <laughs> so this is virgin hair fertilizer y'all already know it's sold in that one it look like a tube two paste tube and it's like metal but y'all can see right now my hair is my hair is dry as well we that's another video honey but this scalp here this scalp here you can see it's kind of dry up and down so we're just gonna go ahead and get this thing he'll crack a lacking i know a lot of people don't like to what you say grease your scalp honey listen go my be greasing her scalp okay um I have this this extra amount of thickness up in here <laughs> y'all know it's look my hair so thick now that it's like ridiculous and I'm relaxed ain't that something well I'm text lax let's put it like that I'm text lax so I am going to section off this side over here y'all this gray hair honey won't let me be great it just want me to just go ahead and look old and um I don't care what nobody say I don't want it <laughs> I don't want it, honey. My hat is good and black, you know. It's real nice and dark. But this here gray chair, please. Listen, Jesus, I'm not ready for the gray yet, okay? If you, unless, unless, Lord, you just let it come all at once. But this here spotting, spottiness, I can't deal. I can't deal with it, <laughs> y'all. So I'm just gonna section that off, y'all. See, I got my little section. Ooh, ooh, I can't even turn around. Get out of the way, stuff. Um section that off and then I'm gonna put this one in two sections here I'm gonna clip it put this one in two sections clip one piece off listen shout out to this hair for being so great okay listen y'all cuz y'all y'all have been with me through the storm through the struggle and seeing what my hair has been going through and you guys look how thick my hair is like it just my hair just be showing out it's just showing out for the 99 and the 2000 so what i'm gonna do with this here um virgin hair fertilizer i'm just gonna take it i hate to dig in it it was so pretty now it's got a dent in it oh gosh you suck so i'm just gonna take it and grease my scalp honey ain't nothing like a good old grease scalp like back in the days when you was little and your mama would put you down on that floor and put you between her legs when you was a little girl and just put that grease on your scalp honey that felt so good i don't understand why so many people are against it nowadays like why i know um as you know as a licensed cosmetologist or whatever people will be like oh you shouldn't put that in your hair because it's gonna clog your pores or whatever honey listen <laughs> listen this virgin hair fertilizer is kind of like oil but but it's, it's a grease it's petroleum in it so i would uh, you know i would call it a grease um but a lot of people so anti and i don't know why nah, they had me doing it at first long time don't put grease in your hair because it clogs your pores and in cosmetology school we learned that oh it causes epoxy or whatever that is um i remember that word like so like it was just yesterday my teacher said it causes epoxy which is pretty much um build up on your scalp to prevent your hair from growing but i beg to differ honey my hair thrives now i don't use like regular hair grease grease but i do use virgin hair fertilizer which is kind of you know like a grease because it's petroleum in it so it's it, i consider it a grease don't y'all consider it a grease so yeah um this here honey it grows my hair like crazy 
you, the proof is in the pudding. I mean, you can just look at my hair if you've been following me for a while and seeing me go through the struggles and the stress of my, my ends that I didn't want to cut and going through depression and anxiety and in council and all of that you guys been here with me well most of y'all you know, if you knew honey if you knew honey i'm sorry but y'all done missed you can go back and watch a couple of my videos you know the struggle was real i was trying to hold on to that hair but i had to let it go and i'm so 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 glad i did it was like one of the hardest things i had to to deal with concerning my hair it was one of the hardest things i had to deal with because i was so like depression and all of that stuff you know throughout being sick and everything and um having to for for a woman having to lose your hair is very hard i know a lot of people say it's just hair but honey let me tell you something about my hair the way i don't feel like my hair is just hair you know god gave me this hair you know because he wanted me to have this hair it's not just oh well my arm is just my arm or my leg is just my leg honey no god gave you your arms and your legs too even though they don't grow back if they get chopped off but still he still gave it to you <laughs> Hair grows back, yes, that's true, but I I have always, since I was a little girl, been liking hair, so that's just my thing, and it's just on your head, it's like, it's like a decoration, you know, it's, it's like one of the first things people see when they look at you, for real, because it's just there, it's sitting there, it's kind of like when you put on makeup, and you, you the type of person that wear makeup all the time and you never take your makeup off you know a lot of people won't say oh it's just makeup i mean <laughs> it's just my face i don't know i don't know child what i'm trying to say but y'all get it y'all get it okay because um uh, i like my hair and i hope that y'all like y'all hair too you know you know um people treat hair like oh the bible say the love of hair is the root of all evil no the bible didn't say that honey the bible said it was the love of money he ain't said nothing about your hair my hair is my crown you know i'm not stuck on the fact that hey um i have to have hair i have to have hair to 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 be be somebody um but it it was it was it's hard to have to go through um sickness or whatever and then have to lose your hair honey that's not that's not easy that wasn't easy for me can i speak for myself right now that wasn't easy for me but i did it and i overcame um my struggles with it and i feel like since i chopped it off um so much much more happier so so much more happier y'all i'm j i am just am and i'm glad a lot of y'all stuck with me through my crisis because it was a crisis y'all i should have cut my hair long before um the time that i cut it i should have had been cut it but i couldn't I couldn't I just could not you know but I'm I'm glad uh, you know mentally it was it was I was going through some things so but I'm glad to have you guys in my corner and <clears throat> some of y'all was some of y'all was kind of hard on me but <laughs> it's understandable honey cuz my hair was a mess my hair was a mess but also my mind was a mess beyond it was it was more than just about my hair at that time and it's still always more than about my hair you know mentally it can do something to you you know as a female you know i've had hair all my life and it, and it sucks to have it to go through things that's out of your control you know because it's like lord i can fix this i can fix this i can fix this but I, then i couldn't fix it <laughs> i couldn't fix it i couldn't fix it y'all i try i try my best I want to fix it so bad, you know. It's like when when people pass away, you want to bring them back, and you can't bring them back. That's how my hair was. I couldn't bring it back. <laughs> I couldn't. But we here now, y'all. Right? We here now. So I counted all joy. I counted all joy, and just something I had to go through. To get to where I'm at now and um, y'all listen if y'all still um watching this video today I'm gonna post this video today and um, today I also have to go to my cancer doctor um today is Tuesday December the 18th I go to the doctor today um, in Birmingham and I just want to tell you guys who bought bonnets I'm sorry I'm not looking at y'all but I want to tell you guys who bought bonnets um, all your bonnets have been shipped um, I have one more bonnet to ship, and I will be shipping that today before I leave. Um, 
you know, I just want to say thank you. Well, I really can't express my gratitude, my my thanks, Lord, you you guys. It's some of you guys that have bought bonnets, I swear, 15 to 20 times. No lie. Y'all bought bonnets that many times. Like the same persons, people over and over and over. And I see you guys and I'm like, my God, my God, what's Jesus? It's just a blessing, you know. And uh, I be overwhelmed when I see people's names. Oh, my God. I just... I just be speechless a lot, but, you know, I'm thankful for everything, and I hope you guys keep me in y'all prayers today, because, y'all, I had to come record this video before, like now, before I leave, while I was still in the talking mood, and, um, go ahead and, uh, record this video because I, I have been sad and yeah okay I'm, what I'm trying to say is I'm trying not to be sad that's why I'm recording and talking to you guys today so you know I don't want to be like in a rut and I want to at least have somebody to talk to and I'm gonna post this video before you guys before I leave so that way you, you know y'all can leave me some positive comments and you know on my way to, to Birmingham today I have some some good messages to read you know and and I'm going to record as much as I can um, while I'm there. And I'm going to give you guys an update. And y'all, let's just pray that everything is on the up and up. Everything is good. And I can just... My nerves, let me tell you, I'm not worrying like that. But I feel like it's automatic for people to feel some level of anxiety when you're going into a place like... The cancer center you know I have to go see my oncologist and that's not a happy visit that's like I don't want to go God please I don't want to go but I gotta go you know but <sighs> y'all <sighs> I've been up since two o'clock this morning which is kind of up I've been up for a while because I couldn't sleep you know anxiety is you know it's 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 hard y'all i try try my best to keep a smile on my face especially for you guys because you guys have seen me cry enough and i don't want to be up here like whining and y'all be talking about uh don't cry just pray have faith and i i already do that you know i already do that but um you know ain't nothing wrong with too much prayer is there a such thing as too much prayer if i can get all y'all to say a prayer for me um Oh, let me say thank you again to everybody who bought bonnets because that allowed me to put gas in the car um, yesterday and have my copay as well um, for my doctor visit because I didn't have no money. Let me tell you, I'm not even I'm not even telling you no lie. I didn't have no money. I did, I was like, God, how am I gonna get to the doctor? Because I've been paying so many copays to therapy and all of this stuff you know they waived the first copay for the first visit but now uh, uh i got to pay the copays and then i get getting i got to pay in order for them people to keep seeing me y'all it's not free even with insurance so you know it's just a struggle y'all but i ain't coming out here to complain I, I'm, I'm thankful for everything and everybody and especially y'all especially y'all the ones is out there that supports me and that shares any of my uh videos and like any of my stuff and buys my bonnets y'all buy my bonnets like god that is a piece of me and i feel real close to my bonnets because i made them and uh, yeah, one of the reasons that I actually make bonnets in the first place is to relieve my stress so I don't have to worry. When I'm when I'm making my bonnets, I don't be worried about nothing. My life is just be like bloop and I just be sewing, sewing constantly just it just it just be like therapy for me to make my where is my other clip? Oh, I ain't got no third clip. Okay, so that that section did I just grease this section while I'm talking? Yes, I just greased that section. So now I can take my hair down. I'm going to take my hair down and let you guys see that I have greased it. Actually, no, that's not what I'm going to do. This is going to be a long video, y'all, so just bear with me. I am going to pin this up like I started to, and then I'm going to show you guys. Nope, I'm going to end this video because this video is already long. So that is how I use <laughs> my version half fertilizer, you guys. So, um just letting you know, y'all, ain't nothing wrong with a little grease. And I highly 
Virgin Hat Fertilizer ain't never sent me no free product, no never sent me no free grease or nothing. But I highly recommend Virgin Hat Fertilizer. Like for real, for real. Look at my hair. I mean, it's not only Virgin Hat Fertilizer that I use. It's a lot of different techniques that I use to get my hair to be this thick, this you know, genetics. Well, I, yeah, genetics because my sister's got a lot of hair. But to get this thick and to be in this healthy state and good look this here gray man is gray some pieces of my hair are just i don't know but anyways you guys that is how i use my virgin hair fertilizer i'm gonna turn around and show y'all what the back looking like so i'm gonna make sure i grease the back of my neck did i grease the back of my neck it probably already greased it but i can't see it so i'm gonna do it again Make sure you get that grease on there. And y'all. Okay. So that is how I use my virgin hair fertilizer. How I uh it helps me with my dry scalp. Now, I don't have dry scalp problems. Like I said, my scalp just happened to be dry this time. And I guess because it's been a, a, a while since I used my virgin hair for a while. So, now I got to go back to using this stuff, y'all. Because, listen. <sighs> Lord's willing, we going to be on a hair journey again soon, okay? Because I just been enjoying planning my hair or whatever. I'm really, really enjoying it. Look, y'all thank y'all for telling me to cut my hair off. You know, all the people who talk junk in, in their head, thank y'all. Because <laughs> I, I really like my hair even better than I did before. So, it's just like, girl. Okay? So, I'm going to just end this video, y'all. Listen, please keep me in your prayers. Uh, uh, I'm kind of nervous this time, for real. Uh, I'm kind of nervous every time. But I know... Um, <laughs> God is always on my side, y'all. And I'm very thankful. I'm very, I'm very grateful and humble for you guys to be there in my corner. And I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, keep me in your prayers. Thank you for watching this video. And that's all I got to say. And I will holler at y'all later. Bye.